Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's your boy, Royalty, with an analysis of a video of me playing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition on Steam against my lovely opponent, King Devoted. Playing as the Goths. Why I am the Q-mans. The Q-mans. I am not an expert at this game. I would say I, I'm... Imagine the most average player. And then I'm one above him. Or her. One above them. Um, so yeah, I'm the Cumans. The only... Only benefit I know that they have... Is that they can build a second town center. In Feudal Age. And the only thing I know about Goss is they, they love spamming infantry. And I knew that... So as the game was loading, I saw they were playing as the Goss. I was like, okay, I gotta be prepared for the infantry rush. But I was thinking that they would start rushing me in like Imperial Age, so it's just like hundreds of them. But we'll see that I was wrong shortly. So I do my standard build. I don't know if this is a proper build order, but I do six food. Four on wood. Then I send two to berries. The first guy builds a house. Second guy builds a mill. And then go with berries. Next guy gets a boar. What do I do after that? Um, I don't know. Honestly, the next guy after that probably gets a boar. Or a house, then boar, maybe. It's a mystery. I have no idea. Sorry, that was rude. He has his boar pretty far away. So this guy's gonna go to berries. Build a house, probably here, yeah. This guy will build a mill, probably here. Maybe there, most likely here. This guy will go there, that guy will go there. But I don't have enough wood for berries or mill because I think you need like 100. So there we go. And this guy, I don't know, probably wood, if I'm being honest. Because I realized I didn't have enough wood when I couldn't build the mill. Just kidding, he went to the sheep. Mm, too late for... They need to be going for the board now. Too late. They're going to be waiting. So that's one thing I work on in the future. Oh yeah. I didn't really react to this. I knew he was attacking me, but I was like, nah, I'll get to it later. So yeah, with that, I had 15 seconds of idle TC time. Or not idle TC, idle eco. Why my opponent has almost two minutes of idle eco. So, things I could do better. But I'm definitely doing better than my opponent. I'll be honest, I got... I should have won this game, but I was overwhelmed, and I, I was overwhelmed. You know, it's easy to look back at a game and say, yeah, I can do this better, I can do this better. Like when you're actually playing the game, it's kind of rough. Well, I have zero food. So in order to go to Feudal Age, which where I can build my second town center, you need, I think, 500 food. And so that's what I'm saving up for. Not really saving up for. I don't know if this is proper, but I just continuously build villagers. I say that, but I'm not building any right now. Until I can go up to the next stage. What's he doing? He's got four on berries. I don't know how many that is. One, two, nine on cows, four wood. Am I, okay, I was like, do I still have an idle TC? No, I do not. I have three on berries now? Yeah. So I will need food and stone for the next TC. Oh yeah, that's me destroying these. Because I'm like, that's a good place for the town center. He should be starting to rush me soon. And I got two minutes until I go to the next stage. 
not much is happening until then, so let's just double speed it. Um, yeah. I just say some blueberry pancakes. Well, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry. I got like a bunch of mixed fruit and mashed it into like a paste. And then I mixed that into... Whatchamacallit? The mix. So this, I need gold because I was going to go archers for against his infantry. So I'm in the feudal age. I'm building my town center now. Getting some farms going. And he is now in the feudal age. I can slow it down now. Okay. So he's attacking me. And I'm like, eh. I need a house. When do I react to this? Oh wow, he's already sending some forward. Yeah, that's when I react. I'm like, eh, might as well build a house. I'm gonna need a lot more houses soon because does a T I wonder if does a TC count as a second feudal age building for the humans? Because you need two feudal age buildings to go up to the next stage. Where's my barracks? Huh. Oh well, I'm just slow. So he's getting man at arms for his attack on me. I'm getting some stone, I guess. I could have done this much better. I should already, <clears throat> I should already have the barracks and archery range because I know they're going for an infantry rush eventually. I wanted siege eventually. I never got to that point because I, I quit way too early in this game. How do I see? It's my first time using capture age, so. Okay, so that's that's everything I see. Uh oh, I'm being attacked. So I'm like, oh man, I should hurry up and block this off. But they destroyed this gate a lot faster than I thought. And I'm like, oh well, shoot. So I retreat. And I need to build a barracks. Probably build it here. Oh, just came here. I thought I was going to build it with these gold miners. So these guys get attacked, so I'm like, whatever. I'll just send them to make farms around the TC. I mean, it's still food. And yeah. And it's defended because you can attack with the TC. I don't know how much y'all know about Age of Empires. I've been playing it since I was a itty bitty little boy. Okay, where's my archery range? Probably here. Nah, I think I build it up here. It doesn't really matter. And I'm like, I should hurry up and block this. When do I block this? Because I know I do. What does he see? How do I do it? No. How do I switch? Shift right click. Okay. So that's everything he can see. He did not really do exploring. Whereas I did a lot more exploring. So he's attacking here, so like whatever, I'll just chop wood by the town center. It's not really a big deal. And I should have reacted a little more here. Oh, I guess I did. Look at that. Another barracks. I guess I'm going for man at arms. And. Poor reaction against this. I guess I was already like, well, they're already in my base. Why bother? Alright, so this is when I go for my walling off this. And I guess I wall up here too, with an archery range. Ah, so that's where I built my archery range. It's a little tight in this corner, but I'm getting some militia. I'm probably saving up for the man at arms upgrade. More farms. Blacksmith for some upgrades. 
archers. Archers are good against infantry. So he doesn't react to this very well. There he goes. After he destroyed it, so I guess it's auto. Budokamas. Okay, how's he doing? So, oh, I guess I can see that here. I have 36 villagers. He has 23. I have 5 military. He has 4. So, in all in all, I'm doing a lot better than him. It's just I was very overwhelmed here. I was like, oh, man, I'm being attacked. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do that. I mean, I got a lazy villager there. Can I still use my hotkeys? No, I cannot. Okay, well that's fine. I got four more lazies there. So I finally cleared up the infantry. And this is, I should already be making archers now. Because I got excess gold and wood. The only thing I'm waiting on to get to the next stage is food. So I was like, so I should be already making archers. Because I know he's going to attack again. And here he's coming. It's, that's what goths do. They attack with infantry. So I should be prepared. And it's not good to always be on the defensive. But he's buying food, man. That's how you know if he has a problem. And I'm still making villagers. Kind of. I got 10 minutes of idle TC. Building a mill there, I guess. I, I lost my mill here. I'm getting some infantry armor, which is stupid because I should be working on archers. But in hindsight, you know, now let's speed up until something interesting happens. So he's in the castle age now. So I got, I'm working on my, and he, I guess he builds a little forward base here. Get some stone. And I should have more on stone, if I'm being honest. And I'm not doing very good producing on both TCs. So that's another thing I can work on in the future. Because I am going to be playing humans a lot, because I want to learn them. So I remill the berries. And I should... Oh, I guess I am making archers now. I mean, it would be better if I had... My two archery rangers, but that's in the future. That's after he starts attacking again. Wow, that's a lot of ten infantry. So I think by now I have explored the entire map that I can. What I did was I just like, explored my base around the, the wood and I turned into auto scout. Just so I didn't have to worry about anything. He's got a knife. Where am I bringing it at? Ah, there. Not a big deal. I'm building a watchtower here, I guess. I don't really know why, but... I mean, it'd be better if I built one to defend my stone. Or gold. But I guess I'll have two defenses for my wood. Yeah, so I should have moved some of these gold to the stone. Since I'm only producing out of one archery range, because I am bad. And then this is a lot of infantry for my lack of armor. And they destroyed these walls super fast. And I'm like, ah, shit. Well, let's go, infantry. And then I send my archers out, but I only have four. But he's slowly dying. But not fast enough. And he's up to 12. I'm in a castle age now. And this is when I'm like, oh, I don't have enough military. So I'm going to build more archery ranges. Which I should have done a long time ago. And I should still be making villagers. Because I'm going to keep losing villagers. 
Yeah, there I go. There I queue up some villagers. Because I'm like, wow, I really need to replace all the ones I lost. In my knowledge, a good sitting point is around 100 villagers. I shouldn't be attacking that wall just to distract them a little. I don't even think I know about this. Yeah. And so I clean it up. I'm pretty sure I clean up. I mean, I could probably send these guys back out to work. Got a lot of lazies here, here. There's like seven in there. Yeah. Okay, there I send them out. So this is going to be my upgrades. Crossbow and whatever that one is. Am I getting any? I should. I got, already got my castle upgrades in from Blacksmith. Got some lazies there. There we go. Now I can clean up these guys. So it was a little messy. I really need more stuff. A castle would have been really good. Just drop it here. But we'll see that I do not do that. And I'm like super overwhelmed. I'm like, ah, fuck, fuck. Uh, what, how? I need to do this. I need to do that. But I just couldn't. Because my mind was like, you know, everywhere. Lacey's there. I'm attacking my villagers over here. Still produce them though, so. That's good. Okay, so I got my crossbows up. But I still need more. I should have started producing them. I should build another archery range to produce out of three. But I don't have enough gold. So yeah. And then I send these guys out. I'm going to build a monastery here, get some relics. And then I'm going to build a town center here. But then I see... I see these villagers because I don't see the castle. That's what I... Uh, and I'm like, oh, shoot, he's building the castle. So what do I do? An absolutely stupid thing. Probably. So I just need a couple more archers, and I would have been fine. But no. And I keep missing the village. I keep clicking the castle instead of the villagers. I should have just let them do their own thing. And then they build the castle. I should have bought stone from the market, build my own castle, like somewhere here. You know, In hindsight's twenty twenty. I'm like, oh man, they got a castle. I need these guys to build a town center there. And at one point, I'm like, is it even worth bothering to keep it up? Like, is it worth the fight? So I'm just like, whatever. I say the GG. Well, I mean, I quit first and then said GG because I was probably. I think I said GG. I probably didn't, to be honest. It's my first, second online game, first loss. So I was probably, eh. Still learning. So I had a bit of feudal, not by much, by 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Military, he did better than me. That's obvious. I mean, look at the military protection. I should have already been producing way earlier. Economy, though, I had more food, wood, gold, stone. I should have beat him. I mean, look at an exploration. Society, actions per minute. Oh, don't have pro. But yeah, just look at the villager count. Yeah, I should have beat him. I should have continued to fight at least. But that was my... Excuse me. A little analysis of the game. What's that? Stable. Oh yeah, I was probably gonna go for like a little night rush in here too. Just to distract him from this. But he's stealing my stone. I'm like, well, shoot. I don't know what to do, so I quit. 
too early. But that's what we gotta do. Second online game, we gotta learn from it. So produce military earlier. I had the econ economy, so I shouldn't have quit. Cause he only had what, twenty nine villagers while I had forty three. I mean they're all lazy right now. Cause I guess it's cause I gave up. But I had forty three villagers in about to have three town centers. Probably two, because I think that's in range for the castle. Yeah. But, so yeah. A little raid would have been good, too. Uh, if you like the video, if you want to see more of the Age of Empires analysis of my video, games I've played, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. Peace. Woo.